Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan and thank you for joining us for our Thursday update for March the 9th. We're tracking quite a lot on our map today. We've got out to the east what was Cyclone Kevin and Judy, that's all sort of in this mix out to the east of New Zealand. We've got a much bigger storm down here in the Southern Ocean worth keeping a close eye on. We've got high pressure to the north, that limits how far that storm moves up the country. And there's another big high over here which is going to move around in a similar kind of track but may actually give more settled weather to New Zealand as we go through next week. And then on top of all of that, this low pressure zone still stuck around Queensland with that rain sliding further southwards over the coming days. Let's take a look at the thunderstorms at the moment. Now, uh, for those of follow us on Twitter, you would have seen our tweets last night talking about the incredible thunderstorms, just a monumentally huge amount of thunderstorms. There were literally hundreds of thousands of lightning strikes out at sea over the last day or two. In fact, you could probably say millions. Now, it's broken apart a fair bit as it's moving in, as they often do. You get a lot of thunderstorms at sea, far fewer of them over land. But you can see the thunderstorms here. And with this front and the strong nor'wester, you might find some of those thunderstorms spill over a wee bit further over the ranges. So worth keeping a close eye on that as we go through today. But there's more thunderstorms in the forecast off and on for the next couple of days. Now this uh, rain format for New Zealand, just a sort of a generic one, doesn't necessarily show those thunderstorms. That's another layer on top. And we're gonna talk about that a lot more this year because the 27th of January flooding in Auckland and some of the other flooding we've seen in the Auckland area this year has been caused by thunderstorms. And they're another layer of rain on top of these sort of rain forecast maps quite often. So you can see here where the thunderstorms are mostly lining up with the west coast, rainfall totals there are around 60, 70 millimeters, may go a bit beyond that. The blue and the green and the yellow down here, bottom of the scale, just a few more showers coming through. You'll see a few more of those heavier falls around Taranaki, a few thunderstorms will come into that area as well. But the further north and the further east you go, the drier, it will be. And of course, you can see these uh, rainfall maps or similar rain accumulation maps at the Weather Watch website. Or if you just need local rainfall totals, just use our Weather Watch forecast or the ruralweather.co.nz forecast. This is really just a guide for me to point where the heaviest rain will be, which is on the west coast of the South Island and up here around Taranaki. Over in Australia, three day rainfall map as well. That one for New Zealand was three days. Here is the other three day one showing that low pressure zone sort of pushing rain further down more towards Brisbane where I hear it is needed. You can get up to 70 to 90 millimeters coming through as that pushes through. Let's have a look now at the forecast. Look at the storm down in the Southern Ocean. So the remnants of Kevin out here to the east, but this storm in the Southern Ocean, much bigger, uh, but it is a long way south. Antarctica is just at the bottom of the screen here. So the low is right down close to the Antarctic ice shelf. Very windy as you go up towards about Tasmania and the lower part of the South Island. But there's a belt of high pressure to the north that limits how far that storm will go. But this storm is unusual for this time of the year. I mean, it's normal to be stormy, around March and the start of autumn. That is normal. But the air pressure being down in the 950s, and there's at least two other storms off the map that are just the same, that's a little unusual. That's more like what we would see in winter. I don't know what's causing it. You know, there's, for some, not everything is connected to, um, you know, some big story. Sometimes the weather just does something kind of weird and strange, and it's just fascinating to watch. It's more of a problem if you start getting a pattern like this year after year after year, then you can say, oh, there's something more serious happening here. But for now, big storms down there, but high pressure zones up here are going to keep it pushed further down. But that means for New Zealand, a bit of a southerly for the North Island, at least, on Saturday. But the westerlies carry on for the south. Up in the tropics, plenty of low pressure, but no storms up there other than thunderstorms, but no tropical cyclones at this stage. By Sunday, no real change in the tropics, still uh, thundery showers up there, mostly dry around Vanuatu. Dry now for the northern part of Australia with that rain sliding further down to the uh, New South Wales border. And you've got a southerly coming through on this side around that next high, which is heading towards New Zealand. This high is to the north, so there's a surge coming through on Sunday. Now, that'll be a warm day around the lower South Island, and then the rain moves in later on. That's good news for Southland. Monday, much cooler. See the blue line? That indicates uh, the colder air. It's actually an air thickness measurement, but it shows you the cooler, drier air moving northwards. There'll be some rain, though, but the temperatures do drop. Your daytime high in Southland on Monday will be about 
13 degrees maybe, and a similar story around Dunedin, and that's the front moving into the North Island and basically falling apart. Now by Tuesday, in comes that next big high from Australia. So still a bit cool with the southwest uh, blowing through, but as the day wears on, that coldest of the air moves out to the Chatham Islands, and you've got low pressure, one, two, three, four areas of low pressure to the north there, five if you count that one over towards Broome. So there's still plenty of energy in the tropics, but while we've got this big high coming through, uh, that'll keep all of that to the north of New Zealand and will encourage uh, that rain and easterly weather going into Queensland and Brisbane area. And in the New Zealand area, the northwest has come back to the lower South Island. So after a colder Monday, Tuesday, you're back to warm again by Wednesday. And here's the next massive storm in the Southern Ocean in a similar track to the one at the moment, similar air pressure down into the 950s. So big storms down there. But while these highs remain over us, it'll keep a lot of those um, worst of that weather down into the Southern Ocean. Anyway, that is all from me for today. Back again on Friday with our next update. We'll see you then.